Hello there and welcome back to the channel. This is Mel's Gaming here with another The Hunter Call of the Wild video. Now today's video is going to be a selection of highlight clips from the past couple of days. Starting off here on Rancho del Arroyo once again on that bottom road hotspot that I've talked about so many times in my videos. Now I was here once again looking for rare pheasants and rare turkeys but what I actually found was another level 3 grey pheasant. Now I was really excited to spot this guy but when I spotted him initially he had already spooked and rather than going defensive he was one of those ones that just takes off and flees and he would not give me a shot. He just kept flying directly into and above trees which just made it impossible to get a shot on him. Now the host very kindly changed the time back and I was actually stalking in to try and get a shot on him when another player decided to come along that bottom road spot. I guess they'd seen in chat that I was trying to get something and maybe wanted to come and try and get it for themselves, I don't know. But it was very nerve wracking having another player do that and come so close. However, what ended up happening is he spooked out of his zone as I was actually stalking into him and rather than, again, flying where I could get a shot, he flew straight into brush. Literally no opportunity given for a shot. But after some tracking, I managed to actually get him down well away from that other player, which was really nice. In the in the end, I think him spooking off in the way that he did and actually not get, giving me that shot initially might have been a blessing in disguise. But yeah, only a small diamond, uh, literally on diamond requir requirement at 20.30, but it's a grey diamond pheasant. I really love these guys. I now have one of the fleeing pheasant multi-mounts in my trophy lodge with two grey diamonds, which I really, really love. The greys are probably getting up there to be my favourite of the feather types for the pheasants that are like the common ones, not the rare ones. I just think they look really good with the sort of white cap on their head, contrasting with the blue and green neck. I think they're a really smart looking bird and I absolutely love having them in the trophy lodge and I was really pleased with that shot and quite a number of pellets hitting him there in the neck skull intestines so yeah he really wasn't going to go anywhere from that shot but you guys can see here on the map just how close this player was coming my waypoint is where the pheasants zone was so that was making me really nervous I could hear every shot he was taking and he was taking a lot of shots and that's always really nerve-wracking when you have an animal that you really want to get and another player does that here once again on medved tiger i was still looking for my diamond reindeer on pc and what i actually found at this hotspot again was another level three musk deer now these are another diamond that you can just never say no to they're not the most common diamond this is actually the third level three i had seen on my pc account and i'm always really happy to see level three musk deer they're just, I love them. They're similar to the roe deer, I have a soft spot for them. A lot of people don't really like them because they don't have the the antlers like the red deer that makes them impressive. But I find the little musk deer really charming and they're honestly one of my favourite species in the entire game. And so seeing a diamond potential one is always really nice. And he had a really solid estimate there of up to 302. So I was just waiting to get a nice shot on him here. Of course with them being quite small you do have to be a little bit more precise with your aiming and I took that shot a little bit low I was hoping to get heart but double lunged him there and dropped him on the spot now coming over to him I wasn't sure if he was going to make it his tusks looked a little bit smaller to me than other diamonds I've shot recently but he did actually make it at 252 when 249 is diamond so I'm really happy with that not one that's going to go into the main trophy lodge as I do have two musk deer diamonds a lot bigger than this guy but he is definitely going into a lodge and like I said it's one of those diamonds I can just never say no to they don't come around all that often so you just do take a chance every time you get them and honestly that shot looks like it touched the heart to me but didn't get heart just double lung but of course that is more than enough to take down the musk deer and get the full score and have it as a diamond now once again we are here on Quattro Kalinas. Still out here looking for more rare Ibex but I have once again found another level 5 Greedos. Now again this is you just can't turn down a max level animal like this and this guy looked like he was more than big enough to make diamond. He looked very impressive. It's also the greyer colour fur type which I really like for the Greedos. I think it looks really really nice. So I just waited until I was comfortable and he had his head picked up and took a nice shot there that dropped him. Always happy to make a drop shot like that on an Ibex, it always is really really nice and of course you can see the vital blood spatter here. 
really really nice looking horns on this guy i've mentioned before i love the greedos i think they look fantastic and a nice 101.50 diamond greedos not as big as the one in the other video the other day but a really nice diamond and it was kind of cool as i picked this guy up someone in the same session got a diamond basiti ibex so there was two diamond ibex back to back in the chat which was always really cool of course ibex diamonds aren't that rare but they're still a diamond and diamonds are always nice to get now, this clip is kind of the start of what happened here last night. So, last night I was going through some multiplayer sessions and I joined this one. And this particular area of the map was pretty unhunted. And I came down here and one of the thir first things I found was a level 5 pronghorn. Now, I was actually down here looking for Plains Bison. As the only thing I need to complete my Plains Bison collection now is an albino. I have the diamond, I have the melanistic and I have the leucistic. But for some reason on PC I just cannot find an albino. I know. But a level 5 pronghorn is more than, I'm always more than happy to find a max level animal. Basically, it is just always really nice. And this guy had a really, really sol solid estimate of up to 109. And a really good looking set of horns on him. Just an absolute beast of a pronghorn. Now, as soon as he gave me the shot, I took him with the M1. More than confident taking that shot there. And it dropped him on the spot. Now going to pick him up, again, he just looked absolutely fantastic. One of the nicest looking diamond pronghorn, or potential diamond pronghorn that I've ever shot. But I was more more than confident this guy was going to make it. I've shot ones that looked way smaller than this that have made it. And picking him up, he is a 100.20 diamond pronghorn. Really, really nice. Not quite as big as I was expecting on the score. Of course, they make do, do make diamond at 98, so that is a very solid diamond. But just not quite as big as I was expecting. However, the horn shape on this guy is just fantastic. I just love how he looks. A really nice width to the horns and just how they curl. I think he looks really, really nice. Double long shot there from the m1 and of course the m1 is such a good gun for these guys really really lovely animal there i really do like the diamond pronghorn now directly after shooting that diamond pronghorn there was really nothing else in that server that i wanted to go and hunt so i moved over to this very unhunted yukon valley server and decided i'd stick around and see what i could find one of the very first things I found was a huge flock of harlequin ducks with not one, but two male albinos in it, which is honestly one of the coolest things. It is always cool to see two rares like that. And it's so funny that I spent so long trying to find one in multiplayer, and now I keep tripping up over them all the time. But to see two in one flock is obviously a little bit special, so I was very, very excited to see these guys. Now, this first one I managed to take off of the water here with the 22. However, with the second one, you're going to see me try to take him off the water with the 22 once he calms down. And I'm going to fail at taking him off of the water with the 22. And it's purely because I just, no matter how many times I took shots at this guy on the water, I just couldn't hit him for some reason. I tried aiming high, I tried aiming low, but whatever happened, it just the shot would not hit. I had a couple of shots left, and as this guy took off, I took a couple of pop shots at it, had no idea where I needed to aim, and with the last shot, hit him in the air. That was really, really fortunate, because this would have been so sad if I had had two albino harlequins in the same flock, and then not been able to get them actually in the same video together. You can see, like, they're right here next to each other. I wanted to wait for them both to float in so that I could actually try and get a picture of them side by side. Just because it's not something that happens every single day, it's just a really nice thing to have happen. Whenever you get two rares or a rare and a diamond right next to each other, it's always cool. And just two white, beautiful white albino harlequins like that in the water just looks amazing. So picking up the first one now, that is a 6.60 gold albino harlequin, which is just a gorgeous little bird. I really love the harlequin ducks. They're just such a gorgeous looking little duck. Very cute looking, especially the albinos. But you can see this shot looks like it went straight over the top of it, but still somehow managed to actually get it. 
Now this one initially wouldn't let me claim it so I did the trick where you pull out the camera and then it did let me claim this guy which was a relief. And this guy was 6.50, low um, trophy rating there for the weight as it actually is a 6.60 as well for the weight. So yeah, it's a shame that that was a little bit lower trophy rating. Unfortunately I've had um, that a couple of times with the Harlequins now. I would have had a Diamond Melanistic, it was the right weight but unfortunately also had low trophy rating which is always a shame but I was really lucky to actually get that guy just hitting in the wing there with the 22 but two gold albino harlequins in the same flock that's really really awesome and I was so pleased to have gotten this clip now here's where things got even more interesting. Now in this same server I hunted caribou and bears down on the river after those harlequin ducks but there was just nothing interesting. So I decided I was going to come and hunt bison and I was looking around at this herd of bison and I thought that that one out in front looked big and when I actually finally did decide to spot him he was a level 5. Now level 5 bison aren't incredibly common, you do not see a lot of level 5 bison so I was really excited to see this guy. Now thankfully I did have the 300 on me so as soon as he actually went nervous I managed to get him to go alert and give me a shot and I was so excited. I'm always excited to take down one of the um, potential diamonds of the bigger game. They just get me so excited and this guy looked huge. His horns just looked amazing. Managed to put in a really nice solid single long shot there and he started to go down really really quickly. So that was all well and normal as I came over to pick this guy up, looked at him on the ground, and I thought he looked really, really good. And when I picked him up, he was a 239.10 diamond bison, which is really big when 221.10 is diamond. That is a really big beastly diamond really huge and just a gorgeous looking animal the bison are so awesome i love them so much again one of my favorite animals in this game there's just something about them they've got so much personality and i think i think the fur types and everything for them look really good but you can see that's about exactly where i wanted that shot to go with the 300 absolutely no problem at all taking him down fairly quickly just with a single long shot so at this point i was already really really happy Happy. I'd had two gold albino harlequins and then after not finding much came and found a diamond bison so I was really really pleased with how this server had actually treated me again low level server that had basically hardly been explored there was hardly any need zones and no need zones here at all which is why I decided to come down here and actually look for bison was just because there had been no bison hunted here and as I turned around after picking that guy up, I looked around and spotted the other herd of bison coming back to this little lake. And there was another level 5. I could not believe that there was another level 5 bison. You don't see an awful lot of level 5s, as I mentioned, and there was two here. Now, I'm going to mention this right now before anyone says that this might have been a hack server or anything. There was nothing good throughout the entire server except those albino harlequins. There was, I just looked at all the bears, they were all low level males or females, all commons. Same with the caribou. It was just very, very lacklustre apart from those albino harlequins. And then I came up here and there was just two bison together like this at the same lake, two level fives. And I've heard this a lot from from people recently where they all have two animals that are almost like duplicates or twins where it's like on their own server and it's almost like two will spawn within the same area i've heard of that a few times now but of course these guys aren't the same those harlequins were different scores and i can tell you now that this bison is a different score to the other bison that we just shot so they're not directly twins it's just weird how the spawns for the good animals on this server seemed to have been in just such a way that they came together like this and of course things like that do happen with complete rng it's just whether you actually get to see them or not and i was very fortunate that i got to see this and again a single lung shot on this guy brought him down really quickly now if i'd known what i know about him now i might not have taken that shot because it wasn't the most ideal shot i just took it because i didn't want to lose the opportunity of having two level five bison at the same lake and again, or walking over to him, I thought that those horns looked really, really solid. And so I made sure I got a nice background and I picked him up and immediately the first thing I saw was that max weight. Immediately I saw that 1,200 kilos pop up 
And then I was thinking, oh my gosh, is it? And then I looked at the score. 245.50. That is a max weight, max score diamond planes wife. And that is as big as these guys get, which is really awesome. I am just so thrilled. And to, it's just insane to have two level 5 bison in the same place. As I said, I went to other lakes. There was nothing. They were all small. The biggest one I saw was like a level 4. But the two level 5s that were on this server, I guess as initial spawns, because as, as I mentioned, this area had not been hunted. Most of this server was unhunted. It was a low level server. I guess these just spawned like that. It's just crazy how sometimes it can go like that. I've seen it before where sometimes you'll get a diamond and a rare in the same herd. And it's just every time it's weird. But for those two herds of bison, each with a level 5, to be drinking at that same tiny little lake, it's just crazy. And then for this guy to be max weight, max score, I just couldn't believe it. As soon as I saw that max weight, I was just praying that he was max score and as soon as I saw the uh, 245.50 I just was so thrilled. They're just insane, absolutely insane. One of the best multiplayer hunts I have ever had and definitely, definitely an addition to the main trophy lodge. I just can't believe it. So that is going to be it for this video, guys. I hope you have enjoyed it. Hope you enjoyed seeing that little bit of craziness that hap happened last night. Still can't really believe that that happened like that. Thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you so much. I'll see you in the next one.